So as we move to Aintree for the final seven races of the National Hunt season, 15 here on Starler's Orders, we've got the Aintree Juvenile Handicap Hurdle up first, so it's good time girl for Pontypool Racing, Royal Pawn for Craig Beckwith, you're going to like it for Josh Sutherland, Stu Gray's Landmine, he has Beau de Clermont for Pedrick Hogan along with the Fisher King, make up just six of these juveniles. This handicap hurdle, the Starler's got them away. The forerunner before we have the two Moores Millions finals and then the two Starter's Orders finals. And Martin's looking for a to take the chase final for the fourth time in a row. Good luck to him on that one. But back to this race in the entry juvenile. We're being led by Good Time Girl for Grey Clutterbuck and followed through by the Fisher King and Landmine and Royal Paul. And you're going to like it and here's Beau de Clermont as they come to the second. single file when they get to the third and they will skip over that much better jump there by you're gonna like it just a little bit on and off the bridle is raw pawn at the back obviously not enjoying the pace being set by good time girl which isn't much of one as we go past the winning post i'll have a full circuit to go we left hand down as they swing left handed it's good time girl from land behind the fish king up against the row you're gonna like it and then raw pawn with a we know running room now and yes Beau de Clermont's also trying to step up the the row side but finally raw pawn gets a bit of racing room moves up into a share of second but it's good time girl that still leads by just a couple of lengths to raw pawn and the fisher king then we've got land mine yes Beau de Clermont and you're gonna like it together although the ones in the chasing back flip-flopping positions so through the first mile and it's still this good time girl from landmine that now moves up into second from Yesbo de Clermont we go over the fourth and we'll take that well just the three of the rear you're gonna like it in the Dennis the Menace silks of Josh Sutherland inside of that is Royal Paul for Craig Beckworth blue silks white sleeves much better jump as they went over the fifth there by landmine who's jumped himself into the lead number two Patrick Hogan horses yellow silks Black cap, black sleeves. The Fisher King, yes, Beau de Clermont. But up front, a good time girl decides to head landmine again as we come round its final turn. And it's good time girl and landmine. These two are a couple of lengths away from you. are going to like it. The nose banded Josh Sutherland horse and Royal Pawn and yes, Beau de Clermont and the Fisher King. As they go over the seventh, that's three from home. So we're just two to take. It's good time girl and landmine from you. are going to like it in third. Then Royal Pawn and yes, Beau de Clermont and the Fisher King. But good time girl just easing himself along here as they take come off this final turn and it's still this good time girl from landmine running on well now as you're gonna like it raw pawn probably gonna run out of room in a minute yes Beau de Clermont the Fisher King has got to pick up a little bit but it's good time girl just by a neck from landmine we're inside the final two now as they come down to the penultimate landmine was over it better from good time girl on the wide outside as you're gonna like it running on now is yes Beau de Clermont landmine from good time girl you're gonna like it hasn't picked up enough they go over the last they're still neck and neck these two landmine and Good Time Girl, it's going to be a head bobber as we come inside the final furlong, but Good Time Girl's just nosing in front, Landmine's going to try and fight back, Landmine from Good Time Girl, and it's going to be Good Time Girl taking it up by half a length in the end, Good Time Girl takes it from Landmine in second, you're going to like it was third, officially was fourth, so a win there for Great Clutterbuck on the final day, well done, not easy to win, to get towards the end of the season, but it's a win for Good Time Girl from Landmine in second, you're going to like it for Josh Sutherland was third. Yes, Beau de Clermont and the Fisher King were fourth and fifth for Patrick Hogan. We'll move on to the first of the Moors Millions final up next.